So you'll find Hotel Jaddy and Homestay out here on the main road in Sanua, as you can see. There's, it's a quiet morning, so there's not much going on at the moment, but doing a bit of renovation there, but that's not theirs, it's some other building. There's a little Wurrung out the front, which is really helpful. It sells drinks, food, snacks, all your essentials. And you come down this driveway like this, into a little courtyard, and then you're in tucked away off the street, away from the noise, and you're in Hotel Jaddy. Hey guys, Mark from Wild Family Travel, and today we've arrived in Sanua, and we're staying at a little homestay hotel called Jaddy Sanua. And this is our room. Sorry, it's a little bit, not messy, but we've unpacked already. So normally I do these films before we've unpacked, but this is our room. So you get a nice bed, television, you get some Western channels, air conditioning, shower in there, which I'll take you into once my wife gets out, lockable wardrobe, a nice little outdoor area that you've seen before. So you have your own little table, chairs. There's even a PowerPoint out here for those that have a computer that want to work. It's a nice little courtyard that we're in here. Plenty of trees. So this leads out into the main courtyard or the main entry point actually, where the office is. So you come through these doors to go to this section. We previously stayed here in 2020, just before COVID hit. So you can choose to have your breakfast out here or at your own room. This is the office up here. It's such a tranquil and quiet, nice little place to stay. This is where they cook your breakfast. Before our COVID struck, they used to have a restaurant in there, so that was cooking food all day. They had a menu with simple Indonesian stuff, such as nasi goreng, etc. But it's not operating at the moment. Hopefully, once things pick up, it will. This is the pool area. It's quite nice. We just had a swim before in here. So it's only a small pool, but there's a few sunbeds here for you to use. There's a shower that you can use afterwards, toilets over there. So it's quite a comfortable place to relax on a hot day here in Sanua. Last time we were here, we stayed around in this area. There was a couple of uh, two bedroom villas in this area. But this time, since the kids were a bit older, we decided to get two separate rooms. We figured that we didn't need the kitchenette and we could both just stay in single rooms. So it's located just on one of the main strips here in Sanua and uh, beach access is pretty much just over the road. There's a little alleyway that leads through to the beach. One of the good things about this as well is that there's also a small little grocery store right here on the way in that sells drinks, ice creams and supplies which makes it ultra handy if you're a family or you've got kids and you just want to grab a drink bite to eat. Essentials as you can see are in there everywhere so really handy to have this right here just as you come in or go out of Hotel Jaddy to Sanua. So if you're looking for a budget stay in the Sanua area certainly recommend this place. So I think we paid about $40 a night per room which was pretty cheap. Pretty cheap by standard. And for what you get you can't ask for any more. So breakfast is included mostly with your stay at Jaddy Sanura. I guess you get a choice when you book and depending on who you book with, but you get three different selections. Basically you get coffee, toast, fruits and juice and a choice of either eggs, pancakes or nasi goreng or noodles. So this morning we've got our coffee and our juice, um, a little bit of fruit salad that comes with it. Rebecca ordered the noodles when they come and I ordered some boiled eggs this morning. So. The breakfast is certainly enough to get you going for the day and it's quite a nice breakfast I must say.